what up, bitches? This is Hump Master Flex. Yeah, yeah. On Peter Pan Eve. That's right, bitches. It's Peter Pan Mass tomorrow, and uh, it's the birth of Peter Pan. And, um, we're gonna save humanity so that we can all go to Neverland. <laughs> Fucking exposed. Well, happy Pan Mass, anyways, to everybody. Um, Peter Pan is real, he is factual, because, you know, it is written in a book, written by other men. Exposed. Actual. <laughs> but anyway, on to the topic of this video. Um, is a very interesting article as to why consoles are dying. Exposed. Exposed. Or should I say, more specifically, uh, how the PC's death has just become even slower. Remember how PC's dying in slow death? Well, that slow death is even slower now. Now, uh, this is what I mean. Let's go to this uh, 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 article, sh 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 shall we? Yeah, ch 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 All right, right here. Next gen consoles will struggle to beat PC, says industry insiders. Yeah, yeah. And now this is all 100% irrefutable factual evidence. Right here. Ah, uh, where is it? NVIDIA spokesman Ben Berando agreed when I spoke with him this month. This is always a time frame where the PC is considerably more powerful. More so with this generation because I think from what all the rumors are, the consoles are being quite conservative with their next gen specs. No shit, son. Consoles are in big trouble right now, he continued. They're now not just fighting each other, they're fighting tablets, phones, and streaming boxes. What we're seeing is enthusiast console gamers moving to the PC. No, really? I had no idea! Echoes. Pretty much every game, advert, and show demer this last year has been running on the PC hardware. And gamers are catching on. In a market where the focus is on mobile, the desktop PC sales are consistently dropping. PC game hardware, hardware sales is continuing to rise though. A projected sales forecast AMD used earlier this week when they were touting their new mobile GPUs showed consistent growth year on year for gaming hardware. And Nvidia's Berando, or whatever the fuck his name is, agrees. GTX desktop GPU sales are growing. GTX 660 and above the market is growing massively. Which we never thought it would. We thought it would stay flat from a couple of years ago, but we are selling more and more GTX cards. If you look at the GeForce sales, GTX continues to get bigger because more and more people are moving over to a PC, a gaming PC. We're not seeing that market shrink at all. What's happening in gamers is gamers from console are moving across and buying gaming PCs, and that's the market, and that market's remaining flat or growing. The bit of the PC market that's shrinking is the entry level as people buy more tablets. Tablets are replacing the $400 to $600 desktop PCs. Exposed. Exposed. Have a seat. Have a seat. You mad. You mad. You mad. You mad. You mad, bro. You mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You mad. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, man. Of course. Last generation, at least uh, the consoles, like when the Xbox 360 came out, literally. Power-wise, it was on par with high-end PCs back in 2005. Same thing with, uh, it was actually like, it was actually several months ahead because the, the equivalent GPU that was inside the Xbox 360 in 2005 was, it wasn't even out yet on the PC market. They, they were saying it's the X, uh, the, the 1900 XT AMD Radeon or the 7800 equivalent of the GeForce NVIDIA, they weren't even out yet. They came out six months later. So technically, the console for like that six month period was actually ahead of the PC back then. Back then. But then of course, you know, year after year, PC got more powerful while the console stayed stagnant, which was, you know, that's pretty evident with every fucking generation. But this generation, the fucking consoles are several years back behind the PC. At least from the rumors we're seeing. Well, first of all, Wii U was fucking behind the last gen. So, that right there is fucking exposed. <laughs> fucking 
<laughs> it's slow. It's worse than last gen, and uh, and it has no game. Like exposed. <laughs> and the sad thing is, like, I'm not even trying. I'm not even trolling here. Like, I, w I I gotta wish I was trolling, but I am not, and that's the sad part. That that is true. Like, it is worse than last generation, Howard Wear, and it has no games. Like. That is a fact. That is not an opinion. That is not a troll. That is a hundred percent guaranteed, irrefutable fact. That's just the way it is. Like <laughs> the Wii U is a fucking worthless console. Anybody who bought it is a Nintendo faggot. Everything in the closet. You just gotta accept the fact. That's just the way it is. I mean, really, it is the way it is. So, um, but now they're saying that the PS3 is not gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be a marginal leap. I mean, should I say the PS4 is going to be a marginal leap over the PS3? exposed now um they're saying that uh the xbox might be the most powerful console we have yet to see that we're all going based off rumors and we all know how rumors go shit the wii u was rumored to have xcr2 memory and a 40 a 48 90 equivalent gpu which by today's standards will be a would be able to run crisis at 1080p 30 frames per second which no console is close to doing that exposed so, um, that being said, yeah, pretty much, this is like, this is like the last, last, uh, reach for consoles. They're, that's it, they're done. After this, they're done. This is the last generation, and they're, they're gone off the face of the planet. It's, uh, so sad. The PC was thought to be dying, yet it survives, and the consoles are dying, and they will be dead. Oh my. Now that is 100% irrefutable and factual. Have a seat.